Welcome back to Bobble TV, sponsored by Westbeer. I'm Daisy Savage, and today I'm here with Benny Davis, the human jukebox. How are you? Uh, hi. Hi. Yeah, good. Yeah, great. Good. Uh, how's your show going so far? Really well. Yeah, having a lot of fun doing it. It's the first time I've ever done anything solo for more than 10 minutes at a time, which is really exciting. A little bit daunting, but it's fun. Great. Um, and so, would you like to tell us a little bit about how your show works? Sure. It's uh, a comedy show about music, I guess. In the past with my band, we've always sung funny songs. This is a little bit more music nerd funny. That's the kind of stuff I like. But uh, the main thing about it is that it's called The Human Jukebox because that's what I am. Any song at all, if I've heard it, I can play it. I started that years ago busking on street corners and I've turned it into a stage act. I'm like a DJ, but I play everything live and I take requests. But I've been getting Deacon Blue a bit, which is a local band that I have not bothered to learn. I've, I've made an effort to learn as much as I missed. Tubular Bells has come up a lot, but it's not a surprise anymore since The Fringe has been going two weeks and that show is here. Yeah. So how do you, if you've never played it before, you know how it sounds, you can just do a check it. Yeah, kind of like if I asked you how a song goes and you can just sing it in your head and you can sing it back to me. Um, if I can do that, then I can translate it to my fingers. And how many instruments do you play? Oh, oh, the list goes on. I mean, there's the melodica, which is my favourite, because it's like the flute and piano combined, both of which I also play. Uh, I sing, I play the triangle, uh, the crash cymbal, the crackers, the castanets. Um, I can play the snare drum, the kick drum, the, the toms. None of them at the same time, though. <laughs> The hi hat, the crash symbol, the ride, the list goes on. Yeah, and did you teach yourself? Um, I was, I was taught piano and flute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm really good taught to sing. That's just kind of something I've always done. Um, and the rest of them were a joke because they're all percussion and they're really easy. <laughs> Triangle too. I think I missed that one. <laughs> That's a better one. So where are you off to after the fringe? Um, after the fringe, well, this is a little indulgent to talk about. Um, uh, my girlfriend, who I haven't seen in nearly two months, which is coming, me, is coming over. We're going on a little holiday. <laughs> After this, um, I'm going back to join my band in Sydney where we've got a few, uh, what's the phrase, I want to say buns in the fire, but that's mixed metaphors. None of us are pregnant. Um, coals in the fire. So, I'm heading back to Sydney, uh, joining up my band, we've got a few things happening, we're going to be writing some sketches, I'll be filming a bunch of stuff, uh, doing some more recording, fancy four chords, be aware, look out for that. Um, and then what else is happening? We've also got Sydney Fringe happening, so I'm performing my solo show there, as is uh, Jordan. After that, uh, Christmas is happening. How does Sydney Fringe compare to here? Um, it doesn't, really, to be honest. Like, I mean, no festival I've ever been to compared to here. It is just the most enormous ongoing thing. 3,000 shows a day, every room in the city, just the pub with a basement. You know, they'll put a curtain down the middle and call it two rooms. <laughs> Sydney <laughs> Fringe is not quite that scale. We don't have the tourism, we don't have the population. But that said, um, uh, we do have a great uh, thriving comedy scene. A lot of comics you can see here at the Fringe. Uh, you're doing this solo show, some really good venues. And I get to see all my friends, and all my friends get to come see me. So. Is there anyone you particularly excited to see at the Fringe? Uh, here at the Fringe or at Sydney? Um, uh, here. Uh, here, I don't know. Just. Some of the best shows I see are the most haphazard free fringe shows that are just crazy. A good friend of mine, uh, Joshua, is doing a show called Dr. Professor Neil Potenza's Interactive Goat Hour. When you've seen as much comedy as I have, uh, deliberate stand-up gets a little bit repetitive and seeing a uh, weird Dr. Clown crash about on stage like some kind of maniac is one of the funniest things I've ever seen. So i got to go back and see that again. Go see that. <laughs> Great, well thanks very much for talking to us. My pleasure. And if you'd like to see Benny Davis, he's at 10.45pm at the